Hey, Rams fans. Last week, we tested our athletes on their random trivia knowledge. This week, we see what they remember from grade school. This is the Gallagher Games. Before we jump into this week's game, let's take a look at our standings through week one. Men's basketball dominated trivia challenge last week, racking up 2,500 points in our current leaders. Volleyball sits in second place with 1,500, and women's basketball is not far behind with 1,300 points. All right, men's basketball is going to be first, taking a crack here at Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? In week two of the Gallagher Games, representing the team, we have Eric Timko and Troy McGregor. Thank you very much, guys, for joining us. Before we get started, let's take a look at the uh, rules for this game. We have uh, two players per team, once again, just like last week. Each team will have to answer two questions from each grade, first through fifth grade, with the grades increasing in point value. There will be two category choices for each question, and these guys will get to pick which one they want to play, and they'll have 15 seconds to answer each question. Now, a little bit of uh, a curveball thrown in here. This is the only game during this competition where I don't know the questions beforehand. It's a random draw. So we're throwing in an extra wrinkle here. You will have one Ask the Host lifeline, the host being me, if you choose to use it on one question. However, if you choose to go that way, maybe I don't know the answer, I'm not sure. If you end up getting it wrong, you will lose that amount of points uh, if you get it wrong on just on that one question. So use that at your own risk. Uh, so with that, we're gonna get going. So, of course, we're going to start with uh, first grade. Do you guys want to go with vocabulary or art? Um, vocab. Vocabulary. All right. Let's see what we got here. True or false, a verb is also called an action word. And our timer here. You guys can discuss and come up with an answer. Wait, are you on mute? Uh, true. All right, he's going with true. Got that in before the buzzer. The answer is true. That is correct. So that's 50 points for men's basketball. And uh, you guys got one more first grade question to answer. Do you want social studies or reading? Uh, reading. Going with reading. First grade reading. Once upon a time, <laughs> there were four little rabbits named Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail, and who? Remember that one from grade school, anybody? I'm not sure I learned that in grade school, so that's going to be a difficult one. A low, it's a low amount here, so. Yeah, I'm not sure. Man, your time's up. So, the correct answer was Peter. I guess Peter Cottontail, but that's all right. Only 50 points question, so you didn't lose... Uh, a chance at much there. But now we're moving on to uh, second grade for this next one. You want games or social studies? Uh, games. All right, we're going with games. Simon says, tell everyone that you are not smarter than a fifth grader. What happens if you don't tell everyone? Um, you lose. I'm not mistaken. All right, he's going with you lose. You are out. Same same thing. So very good. That's the correct answer. So that's a hundred points for answering a second grade question correctly. So we're up to 150 now. Got one more second grade question here. Vocabulary or art? Uh, art. Second grade art. What color 
is the Crayola crayon called Eggplant. Uh, you have multiple choice on this one. Reddish orange, brownish purple, dark green. Um, I think it's brownish purple. Going with brownish purple? Brownish purple is correct. Good job. Another 100 points. So we're up to 250 now. And we're moving on to third grade. These bump up to 150 points now. You get these ones. You want English or social studies? Uh, social studies. On third grade social studies. Which is the largest of the 50 states in the United States? Have a uh, answer here. Time's up. You got something? Um, Texas. Going with Texas. Is incorrect. The answer is Alaska. Everybody forgets about that one way up there. So we got one more shot at third grade here. You want math or science? Um, math. Third grade math. How many zeros are in the number 10 million? Seven. Going with seven. That is correct. So 150 points. We're up to 400 now for men's basketball. And we're moving on to fourth grade. These bump up to 200 points now. We're going with math or social studies? Math. Fourth grade math. Here we go. 20% of 100 equals what? Uh, 20. 20 is the answer. Good job, that was pretty easy for fourth grade in my opinion. <laughs> That's 200 points, we're up to 600. And we got one more fourth grade to go. You want geography or physical education? Uh, physical education. Fourth grade physical education. True or false? In soccer, a direct free kick is awarded to the opposing team if a player spits at an opponent. A little bit of bad sportsmanship there on that one. Uh, false. I'm going with false the answer is true because that would be a foul so they get a free kick that's all right you still got some uh two big questions left to go as we move up to fifth grade and 250 points you want social studies or art uh art From fifth grade art Who painted Bible scenes on the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel? Um, is it Michelangelo? I'm going with Michelangelo. That is correct. Very good. Remembering the Sistine Chapel. So it's 250 points. We're up to 850 for men's basketball with one question left here for this week. Fifth grade life science or math? Math. Going with math. A cube has how many sides? See if we can end on a good note here. Uh, 
Um, just to clarify, you said a cube. Sorry. A cube. C U B E. A cube. Um, is it six? Going with six. Six is the answer. Good job. Another two hundred fifty. So eleven hundred points you finish with. Not bad. And that puts men's basketball up to thirty six hundred. So uh, pretty good numbers here through two weeks for men's basketball. See if they keep it up. Eric and Troy, good job. Thanks for playing.